You're watching Backyard Tech. Well, for a number of Australians right around the country, the bane of their existence is Australia's NBN, the National Broadband Network. Or in some cases, as it is colloquially known, no bloody network. Many, many Australians have had untold hassles and problems and aggroness with the NBN. Even old mate is now a statistic of connection issues, poor download speeds, shocking upload speeds. One connection that is popular across both FTC, FTN and HFC is NBN's consumer grade 140 connection. But NBN are often moving the goalposts, and ISPs have to unfortunately keep up. It's news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, NBN's 140 consumer connection plan could be getting axed. From the Backyard Tech Channel, this is BYT News. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is BYT News time here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Wednesday morning to kick off midweek here at Backyard Tech. And I want to thank WWE Undertaker Fan 92 for sharing this one during, what was it, last night's live stream convos here at Backyard Tech. I actually saw this story and for some reason I didn't even think about covering it and then WWE had a sticky beak at it and shared it during last night's convo. This is from uh, lifehacker.com.au NBN's 140 megabit consumer plan could be getting axed. NBN Co. has suggested a lot of ideas of late and approximately zero of them have been good news for the average internet user. This time it's floating plans to remove the faster uplink option for Australian consumers. Oh dear. NBN Co. has allegedly floated a new plan to introduce 140 megabit plans for businesses only, cutting off consumers from the juicy uplink speeds, according to IT News. Um, instead, it's proposing a 110 20 megabit plan for residential users, while the 140 megabit uplink speed would be reserved for commercial users. NBN Co. General Manager Jen Ken Wallace told IT News he believes the higher uplink speeds were underutilised by residential customers. Quote, We've identified that residential customers tend not to use the 40 megabit upload speed on the current 140. So to provision a service of these dimensions adds costs from the wholesale and retail point of view. Close quote. Wallace said to IT News. At this stage, it's unclear whether whether current users would need to migrate to the 110-20 plan or if they'd be allowed to continue on their 140 plan for the foreseeable future. Lifehacker Australia has reached out to NBN Co to confirm the reports and what the transition plan would be for existing customers on this plan. We'll update you when we, when we receive a response. It's important to note, however, that NBN Co doesn't set the price for the ISPs. Instead, it floats ideas with providers and provides the necessary infrastructure to make it happen. A few months ago, NBN Co suggested ISPs provide providers offer a 120 megabit plan at the reduced price in order to encourage uptake of higher speed broadband plans, but this plan would coexist with the original 100 and 140. It was understood at the time. But internet speeds in Australia still haven't been a great selling point for the nation. We currently sit in 57th place on the broadband speeds according to a cooler's speed test. Behind countries like Barbados, Panama and Belarus. 
In stark contrast to our failing broadband speed, Australia is ranked fourth for mobile data speeds, averaging 63 megabit download and around 16 megabit upload speed. We've stayed in the top 10 for global mobile speeds for the past 12 months, while our broadband speeds have yet to crack the top 50. Now, I went right off my rocker about this, I think it was last year, and got belted by some idiot saying that we were one of the best broadband countries. But when you're behind countries like Belarus, according to a cooler, you've got a problem, especially with your fixed line internet. Okay, update. NBN Co. responded to Lifehacker with the following statement, quote, In the consultation paper, we sought feedback on the possible development of a new residential-focused lower-cost AVC speed tier, offering 110 megabit down and 20 megabit up. We've identified that residential customers tend not to use the 40 megabit upload speed on the current 140, so provisioning the service for these dimensions adds costs for the wholesale and retail point of view. The downstream 110 megabit is set at the wholesale speed tier offer. This is typically some bandwidth loss. There is typically some bandwidth loss with the wholesale and retail service. Ultimately, it would in it would be intended to support a downstream of 100 megabit retail offer. If a 110 megabit AVC speed tier were to be developed, we would also ask retail providers, retail service providers, for feedback on the potential of the existing 140 megabit AVC speed tier being focused more on business customers. There are no proposals in the paper about customers' restrictions, and ultimately it's up to RSPs to purchase any available NBN offer to construct their retail offerings to supply products to businesses and residential customers. Okay. Now, I've been banging on about Australia's atrocious fixed line internet speeds for years. Look at who we're behind here, all right? Now, this is from a cooler. According to a cooler speed test, behind countries like Barbados, Panama, and Belarus. Yeah, okay, we're good. On, we're in the top 10 for mobile broadband. But I used fixed FTTN, unlimited. I'm a big uploader. I practically upload every day. I would love a 140 connection. I can't afford it, but I'd love it. Be able to stream in nearly 4K. <laughs> but, I mean, they're always moving the goalposts. If you're an NBN customer, do you agree? Should consumers be dropped to a 100 20 plan and give business 140 or 140 plan knowing though the line capacity is going to lose you're going to lose on around and i say around five to eight maybe five to ten megabit once it reaches your house now i know here in my street i have a total line capacity of 71 megabit I can't go faster. If I was to get a, a 100 meg connection, I would probably average 70 meg. The line capacity here on FTTN is not there for 100 megabit. In newer areas around Geelong, yes, the copper's newer. Therefore, the internal resistance in the copper and the corrosion level is lower. But as copper ages, it corrodes. Corrosion records corrosion induces internal resistance or impedance which obviously downgrades the electrical conductivity of the copper meaning you have resistance lowering your speed i know that now if i know it, everyone knows it it's electronics 101 if you've ever done z in z out you'll know exactly what i'm talking about um so let us know. NBN moving the goalposts again.
be interesting to see how this one plays out. I'm not worried. I'm on a 55-25 connection, which gives me around 53, 54 meg down and 22, 23 up, which is fine. When I'm live streaming, I'm using the upload speed. I'm, I'm going out at 24 meg. But if you're a 140 domestic connection, are you going to want to go to 110.20? You know the rules with the comments? Put them down below. Stick around. We've got our first Proxmox system setup and product review video coming up for you very soon. Have a good one all. Cheers.